Hello everyone, welcome once again in Cool IT Help. Today in this video, we will see how to create a Jasper report from the JSON data source file. So here is the example of a sample JSON. So we have this class employee and we have the properties. And so we have five names, Sam, Bob, Peter and James and corresponding age, gender and email in this JSON file. So we will use this JSON file to populate the Jasper report. So I am going to use this JSON file as a data source file. Now open your Jasper Soft Studio. Go to the file menu. Here you have to select new option and click on here on Jasper report. Now you will see new report wizard and here we will select a blank template. We will click next button. Now here at this place, you have to give a useful name to your report report so you can identify easily. Okay, so I'm giving a, a name JSON report sample. Now click on the next. Now you will have this page data source here. We have to create a data adapter. This is the important step. Now we will click on this new button. Because we going to uh, fetch the data from JSON file, so here we will select JSON file to create the data adapter and now you will see this data adapter wizard. Okay, at this place you have to give the name of data adapter. Okay, so suppose uh, you are working on the multiple reports like from XML. So and json and other data source so we have multiple adapters so we will give a useful name uh, to this data adapter which is going to fetch the data from the json file okay so here is my json file so i have to select the path okay so i am selecting this json file okay now going to click on the open you can see the path is set inside this text box Okay, now uh, the radio button which is default select, no need to change. Now we will click on this test to test the connection. Okay, uh, connection is successful. Now click on OK button. Okay, and we can press finish button. Okay, now you will see this page. Here you will see uh, our data adapter is able to fetch the records from the JSON file which is appearing as a node employees node okay so we have five employees so we have five employees node on the node on the left hand side now on right hand side we will type employees so on the left hand side all employees node will be selected that means everything is going great okay now we will click on the next button now we will have these fields so here we have to select the fields which going to be displayed on the Jasper report. So we're going to display all. So I have selected the all. Also, we have an option of group by, but we are not using this. Email. Okay, now click on the finish button. Now you will see this page dot JRXML, which is the main report. And this is the A4 size report. So you have some uh, section on this report and we have to display our report inside the detail section and uh, we will use column header to display the header of the fields okay so i am i'm selecting a label a static text field from the palette so giving the name uh, name to which is first column here we will display now again we need one more okay so little bit adjustment is required. So our second field is age, third is gender and fourth is email. So here's another static field for the gender. Little bit adjustment is required that is part of the design. So now we will add the fields which will display the value inside the detail section. Now you have to select the name and just drag and drop below this name. So you can see this is the variable field. Also, this is appeared with the one static field. So we will delete the static. Now we will arrange this variable. 
dollar f name that will fetch the name of the first employee and will display in the same way we just drag and drop the age okay and we will delete this static one and we will adjust this age variable here on the correct position Okay, now the same way we will uh, drag and drop the gender. Now delete this uh, static one and just uh, adjust this uh, gender variable. On its proper position. Okay, now the last one is email. So just drag and drop email field and uh, delete this static and place this variable just below the email section so we have adjusted we have increased the length of this email field because email uh, are in uh, because email are lengthy and uh, email have more words than gender age and name so we have increased the width of this email field so little bit we can adjust okay we have done here we have added the header and we have added the uh, variables in the detail section now we are ready to process this report we will save work and now we will click here to see the preview we will click on this preview tab and you will see uh, data is populated but we have some more gaps between two two records between we have more gaps white space in two records so we have to adjust our report in such a way that it will looks little bit pretty and uh, proper adjust so we will go in the this band and you can see uh, the width of the detail band is much high so we will just uh, click here and we will uh, reduce the width of the detail field like this okay now we will save our report also we will uh, increase reduce the page header width now we will save again okay we'll click on this preview to check what will happen okay now you can see all records come together and the report is looking nice so we can see all data from the json file is fetched and this we have these four column name age gender and mail here we have some properties on the right hand side properties tab so we can change the font size and font type we can set bold italic we have lots of properties we can do some alignments now we will uh, make it bold so the header will appear in the bold and now adjusted a little bit so we have adjusted the width of the column header okay so we have option we can re uh, remove this all uh, page header title all all these stuff if it is not required in your report okay now you can see the report is appearing perfectly all the records are fetched from the json file and it is displaying on the jasper reports as you can see here we have uh, generated two files dot jasper and dot jasper and the second one is dot jrxml so this was the uh, whole concept behind the creating the jasper and data source it's easy you guys can try it your own if you have any doubts so please comment i will try my best to reply as soon as possible if you found this video useful so please like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching